good everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i will be showing you guys how to download and use board view how to download and use board view by the way thanks to everyone that have subscribed to my channel and if you are watching this video now you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe okay let's go there you open a browser they type google Google.com. then you come here you say board view and also i'm still going to i'm going to leave the the link to download this on the description okay you come here you see board view boardviewer.net you open it up there you go so there you have the software here you click download okay it's downloading it's done okay then you come here and also you 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 may ask okay now if i download the 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 board viewer where will i get the board uh, the board views if i want to view any board there are a lot of sites whereby you can download board view free of charge you don't have to pay for for it but i know of other sites which do other pay site you know whereby you can easily buy them from their site but there are a couple of sites that you can get it for free okay so once it's downloaded you unzip the zip file then you open there board view click on board view here you know why do you need to know this because if you know how to read the board view how to go about it it makes your repair so easy it makes it so easy you don't have to stress yourself you know to to fix you know when you when you are able to read the board view and also able to work with the schematic your repair job or your repair work is gonna be so easy it will be so easy okay let's come here firstly I've, I've got few board views which I've already downloaded okay so I'll show you with those ones come here you say open But view okay let's take this asos 5 x501 a okay there you go i'm just gonna make it bigger okay you see this <laughs> is confusing right these are both this is a board is actually a motherboard okay so what you do here now let's say for instance let's say let's say for instance eh? let's say for instance you see here you click on this eh? this is five volts five volts here on this pin tells you this pin when you study this properly eh? this pin tells you that it's connected to this you see this red one is connected to this yellow one okay when you click on the other side now look here this other side is connected to these two to these two capacitors these are two uh, ceramic capacitors you see okay fine let's leave to the other one let's leave there now let's go in the board okay okay let's assume it here now you click here you see that good part of it now when you come to this side it gives you the pin what exactly the pin is doing what exactly the pin is doing okay you know what's going to happen let me get a mosfet there's a mosfet here no, it's not the most wet. 
the transistor this one okay you see now this part this red part tells you that it's connected to this yellow part you see the, all this yellow yellow part is connected to this yellow part and it's also connected to this mosfet this channel n mosfet first pin let's go to the first pin of that mosfet you see the input of this mosfet is connected to this mosfet you see that the input of this mosfet is connected to this you see the yellow part tells you that it's connected to the whole part which you see that is yellow when you are able to do this or when you are able to go through these steps fixing a motherboard is going to be very easy for you it's going to be very easy for you okay let's check here now i'll show you something here's another an, another mosfet this is a power mosfet eh? okay now look at the the mosfet tells you that there is three volts you see that when you check on this other side you see that it's three volts there it's a three volts mosfet the transistor a mosfet here also on the first pin you see on the second pin of this mosfet you see that the second pin tells you that's ground just look at the board you see the whole board is yellow now you see the whole board has the yellow color if you can see that that means that is ground so when you go to pin number one pin number one on this channel n mosfet p number one tells you that it's connected to this ic eight leg ic you see it's connected to this ic to this mosfet as well and uh, here also it's also connected to this part you see it's very easy so what you do this is the top part of this board eh? this is the top part of this board what you do you click on the bottom the other side of the board will appear whereby you have the cpu here you see this is the cpu this is the cpu and these are look here these are three volts you see it tells you that the this ic here is connected to you see so part of look here on the board you see here this mosfet the 3 volts mosfet is connected to this transistor here i think this is transistor or something you see this is transistor this when you know when you are able to figure these things out repairs will won't be it won't be hard for you doing repairs won't be hard for you look at this one now okay pu it's hundred and eight seven zero zero okay pin number eight is connected to this uh, caps Did you see that so on and so forth like for instance now you have a part like you have a motherboard with you now in front of you you are struggling to get the part maybe some parts are missing you know you are, sometimes we technicians normally receive board from client or from some people that try to fix the board at the end of the day they don't succeed fixing the board they will send it to a technician by the time they those board comes to you you find that some parts are missing this will really help you if you know how to go about this it will really help it will really help you to figure it out and know what exactly the point you know you click here you know that this this pin is connected to this one you know just like that this one is connected to this you go step by step and know the value of what component that is missing and all that okay let's try another board again let's try a different, a different board Let's try a different board. Uh, okay, let's try this.
okay this is a different pod i presume this is on pod ram you see you see the first place i click on is ground let me zoom it out you see You see, it's ground 1.3. Now, let's see. You see? It's so interesting when you know how to go about this. Okay, here's a transistor. Uh, a transistor here yeah pq1 that's the ground here goes to this capacitor then here again it goes to this part you see that it's far from where it is, you see. It goes to this over here. You know, it's so nice. It's so nice to learn how to use this. I promise you, you won't go wrong. Q7. Q7 1.8. Q7 1.8. Then there you go. This is another battery. Uh, the battery I see this one. The PQ7, Q18. The three volts transistor. This one. The three volts. Twenty-one. You know. It's quite interesting. I'm telling you, it's quite interesting. When you get to know all these things, U11, that, that I see U11. See, this all you can know each pin is for this, is for that, is for this, and it's for that. You know, you see, then uh, okay, let's do this. You see now. This is the 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 super IO. This is your super IO here. You see, when you click each pin now, you see I click on this. Okay, let's okay now let's go to pin 50. Where's 50 now? Pin 50, you see? Pin 50 tells you is it goes to this uh, capacitor here you see then also is connected you see is a three volts you see the pin 50 is three volts is connected here and here that tells you is it's connected here three volts cp u e c you see that one two three you see four five so on this pin when you fixing uh, a motherboard like this you be you should be able to get three volts on this pin pin 201 two uh two no what's that pin 121 then on a pin 114 also here you have pin 92 as well then here you have pin 26 and here you have pin 50 okay it's very easy to use i will leave the description i will leave the software on the descriptions so that you will be able to download it from there then uh, then we take it from there you know We'll be doing a lot of uh, motherboard repairs. We do a lot of motherboard repairs. And if you are watching this video now, you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe for repair videos like this. And also, we share knowledge together.
as more videos more videos repair softwares will be uploaded just subscribe then we'll see how we we'll work together you need to learn together you need to share ideas together okay thank you for watching i will stop this video now